all right so welcome back again so in this wonderful and exciting tutorial we're trying to explore a very nice terminal emulator called wave right so wave is similar to wap which is a set of the next generation of tools for developers which are tools that are mostly the normal traditional tools we use as a developer such as this a terminal coded data browser notebooks all of them but these tools have been enhanced with ai agents and llms that makes it quite useful as a developer right so let's see some of them so one of them we have is a wap right the other alternative is we also have wave so wave is a block based ai augmented terminal so what do i mean so it's similar to wap so wap is also an intelligent terminal so these are some of the intelligent tools that a developer use wave is also something like that but the difference is that uh, wave both WAP and WAVE are block-based. So I'll show you what I mean by block-based. But the difference between WAVE and then WAP is that WAVE mostly allows you to have these four features out of the box. So you have the terminal, right, with the enhanced features. We have the inbuilt browser. So you can, within your terminal, you can actually browse, right? So it's like a terminal plus browser embedded. And then the AI tools together with the previewer. So that is the main features, the very exciting features of Wave Terminal. But WAP is also a terminal with more AI tools together with its own cool features. So let's see how to work with Wave Terminal. So I'll go back again to my system, which is here, wavetem.dev. And in case you want to install it, you can install it for your system. So there is support for Windows, Macintosh, Linux. So let's see how to install it. So I'll just go back here. Then let's download it, or you can just use WinGet to install. So I can just download from here and install it. So it's going to download, and then I can install. Or you can alternatively use WinGet to install. So you go go back to your Windows terminal, or which is your terminal, like this. So I can install it from here as you saw me download, or I can just do this, and then install it. Right. So either of them is going to work. So you can use WinGet, or you can just download it from here then install it so you see that it's downloading the same thing almost the same size with the same architecture then it's going to install it so these are the two main ways you can install wave on your windows system right so there is support for windows macintosh and then linux so let's explore the main id so as we are waiting for it to install it's downloading to take some time and the difference between wave and then WAP is that WAP is um, similar. Okay, wow. So there is WAP also now for Windows, which is quite cool. So we also explore it later on. So now at first it was only just for Macintosh and Linux, but now WAP is also for Windows, just like Wave. So let's see, it has been installed. It's taking so much time. Uh, let's download it from here. Let's see which of them will be fast. Yeah, so let's install it. So this is how to install it. So you can just download and install. And then once it's done, perfect. So let's see it. So this is the basic user interface for Wave. And let's see some of the stuff. I don't want them to send telemetry, which is okay, but I don't want to do that. So let's take it off, continue. And then I can now see the main idea. So these are the header icons, some important stuff to do some important key bindings so the normal terminal key bindings is there then there is a workspace in which you can specify it here so let's put it here so we see that the one from WinGet is now installing and then after everything has been installed we have some tips there right so let's go with get started so this is the basic ui for wave right this is the basic ui you can see that it has a terminal which is the first feature which is very cool we have also some your system settings like your CPU monitor, which can be useful in case you're trying to monitor what is happening. Then you have the embedded browser. As I said, you have your browser here. Then you also have another browser here. So there's another browser, right? And then there is also the previewer. So these are the main features, as I said. So the main features for Wave are, <coughs> sorry, we have these things, right? So we have the terminal, right, which is enhanced, your browser, AI tools, and a previewer. So if I go back again to here, we see that we have the browser here. This is the browser, as you can see from here. Then you also see that we have the AI tool, right? So this is with AI, which is very cool. And you can specify the model. So let's explore it from scratch. So this is a basic user interface. You can expand any of them. So I can click on this and you see that it has expanded. In case I want to increase the size, I can click on it with my control plus. See that this is bigger now. 
benefit. You can also go back again to here, click on the terminal and you can magnify the block. All right, so there, as I said, just a block based terminal. So if I come back here, if I type in something, so let's go to my document and I do LS, you see, let's just hand, enhance it. You can see that now it is here, right? So this is one block. If I type in something, so this is the directory, this is another block. So it's a block based terminal, which is quite useful, right? So I can scroll around, which is very nice and very cool. Perfect. So that is something nice about, about um, Wave. Very cool. You can also change the team. So in case I want to change the team, I can specify the team I want so I can move it from default DAC to one product. So that it, this is only, this is a, only one that was changed, the rest remains the same, which is very cool. I can go back again and change it to a different team. So let's say I want to make it like warm yellow. So this is warm yellow. I can modify these individual ones with their individual teams, which is very cool. In case I want to change the team for the entire staff, I can also do the same thing. So let's go back to the default, click on here. Then we have the window. You can minim uh, minimize zoom bring all of them together. We have the workspace, which is a very nice concept in which you can create a workspace, right? So this is one workspace. The workspace is used to manage whatever you are doing. So I can just create a simple workspace and can give it a good name and I can use it. And then let's go back again to what we had already. So you can switch to the setup workspace. This is the one that we had previously, right? So you can also create your own workspace. Cool. And then you can also arrange these ones here. So as you can see, we have my uh, CPU monitor, which is useful to monitor the CPU. We have some important tips. You can manage these things, right? Which is very cool. Can even connect to your remote server. We have the browser, inbuilt browser. So this is my browser. I can actually check for something. So this is the official with term. I can go back here, click on this. This is within the terminal, right? I've not left. So this is a very useful experience. So that in case you are working, you may you don't even need to switch contest right you can just totally within your wave terminal and you have everything that you need which is very cool right so i can come back here i can search for something so trending i can just go with github i can spell trending and i can see it go it uses my internet and then searches it out i can zoom out to see what is there which is very cool so this is what is trending now Boats, okay, that's interesting. Rugbit, DSPI. So this is what is trending as of today. Perfect. I can also go back to the health information here. Yeah, this is how to use, um, how to customize all the various information. Their roadmap, which is very cool. In case I don't want it, I can close it and it's gone, right? And then also have the preview. As I said, there is also a preview, so you can actually preview something. So I can move out from here to let's pick a file inside my document. So let's go to document here and then I can pick a file that I want to preview. So in case I have an M markdown file or something that I want to preview, I can actually do the same thing, which is very cool, right? So let's say I have this one here. So they said the file is too large, so I cannot preview, but it gives you the option of being able to do so many things out of the box, right? Perfect. If I have another markdown file or something, let's say I have a different markdown somewhere. Um, let's go here. I'm sure I have a markdown here. So I have some markdown here. I can preview. So that now I'm previewing my markdown within my terminal, which is very cool, right? This is a very nice feature. Very nice. I can also click on this to edit. So I can actually edit <coughs> within my terminal without using Vim or a uh, new Vim or Tmax or something. Within my terminal, I can edit these things, which is a very nice stuff, right? I can just go back here. So this is an editor. You see that now I get out of the box, I get the auto suggestion, which is very cool, right? So this is something that is also available in Wave. So I can now save it. I can preview what I did, which is quite cool here. Yeah. I can also switch the table of contents. So this is like something very useful. Perfect. So this is some of the stuff that you can do with a preview inbuilt preview. You can actually see your file explorer here. You can go around it. You can click on this to uh, make it static. Very cool. Yes, view mode. So this is uh, actually view mode, right? So you, do, you don't edit, just view. 
and you can also refresh in case you have made some new changes you can also specify some other configurations right perfect then let's see let me close this one here so you have seen the browser you have seen the previewer all of these things you can close them and you can also find them here on the sidebar here so we have the terminal which is the default terminal that is open or you can create another one there is a file explorer which you can see it here which is very cool right out of the boss you get out of the boss and once you create it it's create a session then you have the web browser you can see that you have the web browser here which is similar to this very cool and then you also have the ai assistant right the ai tool and you can chat with any of the ai tools that you have right then for the system monitor let's close this you have the system preview right perfect you can also arrange all of these things so i can arrange them so this my tips is here i can move my tips here right and i can move my, my cpu here right so you can actually change them as you wish right so it's not fixed which is quite useful right so let's put this one here and then the, yeah, the AI agent stays here, which is cool. I can take off this the tip, and then you can see that this is quite useful, right? You can create a new workspace to use it, and these are also expandable. So I can expand it like this, which is not bad. Very cool, useful features. So I can stay in one place and do a lot of things, right? So I don't even need to switch contests. Cool. I can also pin this one, right? And I can also unpin it, right? Or switch it off. Let's go back again to Wave. So we have my Wave app. Let's open it. Ah, no, I deleted the shortcut, but yeah, anyway, let's move on. So let's go with my Wave. I, yeah, so here's it. Let's open it. <clears throat> so yes, that with Wave, we have all of these things out of the bus for a developer, which is quite cool, right? So this is, this is Wave. Now let's see some of the stuff I can do there right of course there are some other cool stuff you can also do right perfect now let's check back again to the ai assist i want to ask see if it has some agents that we can do so you have all the models that you have here so you have the global default you can also uh, add an ai preset and specify the preset that you want to use you can change the ai right that you are using so you can actually switch them so if i go back to the there is an option in which you can actually modify the AI assistant you're using. In other words, you can change them. So now I can say uh, what is what with terminal, right? And this is going to use the default model, which is quite cool. And now you can see that it's giving us this wonderful UI out of the world. So this is within my terminal, right? Which is very cool, right? So I don't even need to switch. I can go back here to the wave can check for an update there is the file manager to open a new file there's an editor normal edit there's view to be able to toggle the dev tools and the rest there is workspace to create a workspace as i said there's the window and these are some of the main stuff that we have for wave right perfect i can create a new workspace and then you can just give it in the name <coughs> so let's say icarus tech workspace something like that so this is now a new workspace. Perfect. Let's go back to the tips to see some of the stuff you can do. So you have block settings, magnify, connect to a remote server. You can view your workspace, right? So WS, WSH, with SH, right? Run this command in the terminal to preview a file directory or web URL, so which is very cool. So I can also do something like, let's say, uh, WSH, view then if i have a file to so document something right if i have or let's say desktop desktop example if i have something there i have no idea and now automatically once i click view we saw this one has been open and we see these files there right very cool if i have another file there to so cd into desktop ls i don't have anything there let's go to cd document Unless I have so many stuff, I want to preview what is inside, let's say my LLM hub. I can also do the same thing with WSH view. Then we have my LL, LLM hub, right? And I said to my opinion, and I, you can see all my models that I have available, right? Very cool. This is a very useful feature. Right? This is very nice. 
but what other things you can also do you can right click the tab to change the background or rename so i can right click the tab okay you can change the theme as they said you can increase the font you can change the transparency so that you have a transparent background as you wish you can also do some interesting stuff right so let's go with the default there is also the option of connecting to a remote server so in case you have a remote server you can do the alt g to open and then in case you have a remote server in case i have wsl or a different remote server i can just connect to it out of the bus which is very nice cool we have configuration options let's see right so these are some of the stuff you can do with this wonderful ide so thank you for watching so in the future we're going to try and see how to work with a different terminal but it is how to work with wave on windows see you another time stay blessed